Hi there, this is Shana, and today I'd like to show you how to work a make one right increase. Whenever I increase or decrease, I try to work those increases and decreases at least one stitch, but generally two stitches away from the edge. And the reason I do that is that I'd like a nice clean edge to seam with when I'm ready to do my seaming. That's assuming that you have a pattern that requires seaming. Um, to work the make one right increase, you're going to lift up the horizontal bar that's laying between the two needles onto the left hand needle from back to front like so. If you find that a little awkward you can lift it onto the you can lift that bar onto the right needle but scoop it with the left hand needle from back to front. So now we have this new bar on the needle and we're going to knit that through the front. It should feel a little tight to get in there to twist it closed and create our brand new stitch. So this is the make one right increase. We have a new stitch sitting on the right hand needle and below it we've twisted that running thread and it leans to the right. We've got the, the front of the stitch leaning to the right there. So that's the make one right. I'm going to knit a few more stitches and then show you again how to work the make one right. So here we are. We're ready to work a make one right. I'm going to lift the horizontal bar from back to front onto the left hand knitting needle and then I'm going to go up through the front of that stitch. If it's tight, it's right. One of my tricks for loosening that up, I'll take my pointer finger and slide this, slide that working yarn towards me, or the, the thread that's on the needle, excuse me, towards me. And that opens it up a bit so that it's a little easier to get inside. And then you knit it normally, and there we have our little twisted stitch below. I'll do a couple more, and I'll even show you what it shouldn't look like, your make one. So here we are. If we lift that horizontal bar from back to front like a regular make one and then go the easy way through the back where it's not tight, we're going to end up with a big hole, a yarn over actually is what you end up with. You've created a new yarn over. So I'll leave that there so we can kind of take a peek at it. That is incorrect. So when you make one, you want to make sure, lift from back to front, make one right, and then open up that front or get into the front. If it's tight, it's right. You're trying to twist it closed. Towards the end of my work here, I did an increase a few rows back. And I just want to show you, I think it's handy to know how to count from these increases. Um, let's say you're working a sleeve that requires you to increase every fourth row or so. It's always nice to know how to count those stitches. So here's my little twisted bar that horizontal bar that twisted closed. Right above it is the stitch that was actually made from the make one. So this is our make one. And then we have one, two, three rows above it. So again, this little twisted bar created the make one, which is right above it. So that's our make one. This was the row that the make one actually happened on. And then above that we have one, two, third row is on the needle. So I'm ready to work another increase if my pattern called for increasing every fourth row. So I'm going to lift it up from back to front, kind of slide it open for myself, and knit through the front of the stitch, and that's that. Happy knitting. Good luck.